I have a customer that is interested in a VR project, but they're not sure where to start. They don't have uh, a ton of resources to, to dedicate to this project. What are some simple things um, that a customer would need to get started with a potential so VR project? So are they looking to display like products? Is it a, a site that they have potentially, like a warehouse? They wanna showcase their products in specific scenarios um, that are not easily replicated um, through flyers or normal normal marketing. Um, uh, a lot of companies have done things exercise. like uh, training videos where somebody, another company may have produced something where uh, if we have access to those assets, we could also use that in a virtual reality environment to create an interactive uh, experience as opposed to something just like a video. Okay. So assets, what, what does that mean? Because like I said, none of these people have produced a VR. Yeah, so in the case of um, stuff like products a, a company produces, a lot of times their engineers will develop CAD drawings of those things just for specification purposes and whatnot. Um, a lot of times those assets can be uh, converted into a format we can use in virtual reality. Um, a lot of times even like the moving parts of those assets um, we can break that out and replicate the functionality where in a virtual world, um, the whatever that device is supposed to do, we can actually emulate that uh, virtually. Okay. So we're talking lights, gauges, uh, literally yeah. moving. Even parts. like a user interface, like if you have a screen on one of these things, um, if we have the information on how that thing's supposed to function, a lot of times it can replicate that where you've got an interface within your virtual environment that you're looking at first person. Okay. Um, so CAD files are, are one asset. Um, are there any other things? Like, I mean, I've seen 3D renderings and things like that that may not actually be CAD Yeah, well, a lot of times, like, if they had a, uh, a 3D rendering done for them in the past, like I said, like a video or even just static images sometimes for presentations, um, if they have those source files that were used to generate that, a lot of times there's a, a quick and easy pipeline to get that, again, into whatever format we need to to put that into a virtual reality uh, setup. Are there specific file types I should ask for, or? Um, not really specifically. Um, most formats, I'd say, there is some pipeline somewhere that's gonna convert between them. Um, 3D Studio Max is probably a common one. Um, Colada is probably industry like used to convert from different types of uh, um, software platforms be between them, but. Um, like I said, any software solution out there usually has a way to get it into other uh, applications. Now I've seen you do a couple things um, with bare bones stuff. Uh, I mean, you can take pictures, right? Of detailed pictures of items and, and make that somehow a 3D rendering? Yeah, so with, with good lighting and enough detail, if you get up close enough to these things, a lot of times you can actually take the image itself and just like map that onto a 3D model, so it makes it look very uh, realistic. Again, it, it kind of depends on the lighting, like if you have a bright light shining from one section and not from another, um, that can affect how it looks like when you're then applying lighting to it in a virtual world, so having the right kind of photography is important. Um, well, you have to so if it's just a flat image, will you have to build the 3D model to kind of wrap that around? Yeah, but having uh, those images taken from the right perspective can help a lot in like giving some good reference material to create those 3D models. Okay. And uh, I mean, how long, if you have the assets, if you have a CAD, I mean, how long does a virtual reality application take? Um, if I'm starting from good CAD files, uh, depending on the interaction with those things. It could be anywhere from a week or two to, to months. Yeah, to okay. months. Okay, so not a normal application or anything like that, a web app or a mobile application would take months to potentially over a year. Yeah, again, depending on complexity. So. Okay.